All right, I was on eBay the other day and I found these, um, I think it was eBay. Um, I found these boards. It's, uh, it's, I'm, I know it's upside down right now. And the, it says low distortion audio range oscillator. Um, and they sold it as a kit and they sold the PC board by itself. So I bought the PC board and put my own parts in it. I didn't trust getting op amps from China or, or nice capacitors and stuff. So I put my own stuff in there. Should be, should be good. I'm I, I assume they found this circuit somewhere and they just spun it with their own cheap parts and stuff. But I think by putting good parts in it, it should work good, right? But let me show you the, the um, let me show you the schematic that uh, comes with this thing. All right, so this is a schematic, and this is what I built the uh, built the device off of, and um, it has a uh, an oscillator circuit here, and then it has a leveling circuit here, um, so uh, to keep it to keep it going right. So this kind of takes the place of the light bulb in a in a Wienbridge oscillator. Anyway. Um, it looks like a real fancy circuit, so you'd think it'd be really, really good. Um, so it um, uses uh, any 5532 op amps, and then one TLO71. Uh, I, I, I don't know why it needs a particular TLO71 here, but it does. And it does have a lot of uh, thought in this thing. There's a, there's a bunch of stuff that went in here. So somebody really spent a long time designing this. And uh, so let's, uh, let's get it up and running. All right, so I've hooked up uh, plus and minus voltage. I have it hooked up to be an oscilloscope. So it looks like, it looks like a, Looks like a sine wave to me. It looks like a real pretty sine wave, um, but looks can be deceiving. So uh, when it says low distortion, I wonder what they mean. So uh, let's take a look at the spectrum of this thing. Um, let's see, let's turn on FFT and it's gonna go between, uh, let's see here, I want it to go between zero and 10 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz. It oscillates at about 1.2 kilohertz. So that we'll be able to see a couple harmonics here. Turn that on. And it just changed our stop frequency. That seems like a bug. Uh, let's go back to 10, oops, 10 kilohertz. 10 kilohertz, okay. And uh, okay, that's good. All right, get rid of that. And here we have an FFT. Let me move the camera a bit. Now the FFT is this thing here and that's because it doesn't have enough sample points, right? Um, I don't like that it says bin size 488 Hertz. I'd rather have it calculate a resolution bandwidth. Um, and so they would know the math yeah, so here, let's turn off this. And then if we get more sample points, our, our, our quote resolution bandwidth, they call it bin size, uh, whatever, um, 9.77 Hertz. So anyway, you see the fundamental and it has a whole bunch of, um, it has a whole bunch of harmonics. So I don't think we're gonna have a great score on, on, uh, total harmonic distortion. That's something they should add to this thing as a button for total harmonic distortion. I'll, I'll, I'll put that on my list of things to ask them. Um, but uh, we do have in the lab here an instrument that will measure total harmonic distortion. So let's use that. Okay, the Keithley uh, 2015 will measure what we need it to measure. So let me, let me connect it up here to our to our oscillator and uh, you can see uh, we can push some buttons up here. We can say what's our frequency. So it's oscillating at 1.2 kilohertz 
and then we'll go into total harmonic distortion, it's measuring 0.3%. That's not very low. That is not very low. Now, if you own one of these Keithleys, there's something to be aware of. Um, it can be programmed to count a certain number of harmonics, and it defaults to two harmonics. Um, if you go to measurement, total harmonic distortion, frequency automatic, it automatically detects the frequency. And then it says upper harmonics, how many do you want? I have it set to a high number now. Uh, like I said, it defaults to, I think, two. And let's see here, I think we can go up to nine. Yeah, it'll go up to nine. So let's change it to nine. And uh, yeah, so 0.3% total harmonic distortion. If that was defaulted to uh, two, then it looks a little bit better because it's only counting two harmonics and not seven harmonics, right? It's the total power under each harmonic that gets summed together. All right, so some people may say, hey, 0.2 doesn't sound too bad. The audio files are going to go, oh my God, 0.2 is really terrible. Um, so let me look at a, a different, um, a uh, different, let's put it back to seven. Measure. Oops. Put it back to seven. Okay. Um, let's measure a different source and I'll show you that you can get better harmonic distortion. Okay, we're going to use my new toy here. Um, it has a wave generator in it right here. You hit wave generator and uh, it pops up and I'm programming it to 1.2 kilohertz and uh, we're going to set it to a sine wave. Here we go. Here's a sine wave and uh, we can hook up our oscilloscope to that and um, we can look at the harmonics of that. They're, they're a little bit lower. And if we turn on channel one, we can see the, uh, we can see the, uh, the nice pretty sine wave here. Now this is direct digital synthesis and everything, probably 16 bit. Um, so, uh, let's measure this with the Keithley. Okay. So move this over. We'll connect the Keithley up to this. And then we will go look at the Keithley. And we're getting 0.03%. <laughs> so much, much better. Much, much better. Well, anyway. Um, eh, very disappointing with the circuit. I don't know if I built it wrong. I don't think so. Maybe it needs some adjustments. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, I did adjust this. It doesn't help. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just a leveling thing. Uh, uh, it, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't seem to affect the harmonic distortion at all. Uh, when I adjust that, um, we can, uh, I can show that to you if you want. Let's see here. Let's move back over to our Chinese oscillator. And uh, there we go. And then let me adjust the potentiometer for the leveling circuit. Here's one, so 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2. So it does go down a little bit from 0.34 to 0.33, but it doesn't change much. Um, so anyway, there you go. Uh, comment below if you've bought one of these and you've measured the distortion and it's really, really good. I would like to know. Maybe I did something funny here and uh, try to fix mine.